Right, we'll be live in a second. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to uh, a dumb, is dumb SEO questions episode 387. Uh, each week uh, we uh, meet here to review and answer, contribute to the questions asked on the dumb SEO questions Facebook group. With us tonight, uh, we have um, uh, Micah Fisher Kirshner. Micah is on the west coast of the USA, uh, not too far from Silicon Valley. Uh, he's a uh, uh, the director of SEO and content at Turn River Capital. Uh, he's also president and founder of a um, um, an SEO meetup group. Um, BayAreaSearch.org. Tim Kapper is um, a CEO of OnlineOwnership.com. Um, and Masataki Wasa is webmaster of um, WasaWeb.net. Um, Tim and uh, Masataki are both uh, Google product experts. Uh, Tim is uh, um, a member of the uh, Google My Business community. Masataki uh, is a member of the AdSense community. We've only got five questions to answer, actually four questions to answer. One of our five is uh, uh, one that we covered last week, so we shouldn't take too long to get through these tonight. Okay, our first one is, uh, it's titled um, Data Discrepancies Between Data Studio, uh, Google Analytics and Google Search Console. Uh, it's from Rodrigo Bueno and uh, he said, does anyone see uh, huge data discrepancies between uh, those three uh, sources? Yeah, uh, you'll generally find data discrepancies between whatever kinds of sources you use regardless. Um, in particular with those three, they track in different ways. Um, so how they track and their setup for that is just naturally going to carry discrepancies, um, which is also why the terms or the metrics are named differently as well. Just to give an example, clicks and sessions are actually different in of itself. So to it, clicks is basically how many people have actually clicked from a search result, whereas sessions is how many people who have clicked from the results and landed into your website. Um, it's minor, it seems, but it is, a, it is a crucial difference because those number of people who have clicked, not everybody makes it in time for your Google Analytics script to load to have it count as a session. And while it is probably 90% on average, um, it's not everyone. So those are kind of some of the, you know, case, like a case for why you'll find that there are discrepancies between the tools. Thank you, Micah. Um, any, anybody else? Okay, I'm curious to know what he means by huge data disparities. I mean, disparities are sort of given for the reasons Michael mentioned. But when it's huge, then, you, you know, that might suggest there might be something amiss with um, how the data is being tracked, for example. So, so there may be something there. Either something hasn't been set up right or something's not been captured by one. So I think with more details, we might be able to pinpoint potential issues. But that's if the disparities are indeed huge, because I don't think there should be huge disparities. You know, disparities, yes, but huge disparities, hmm. Yes, they're fair enough, Micah. All right, um, let's um, look at number two on our run list. This one um, is from Sudhir Rowat, and it's titled uh, 
uh, indexed, but the URL cannot appear on Bing. Um, CD goes on to write, uh, help needed. When I inspect the URL on Bing Webmaster Tools, it says uh, indexed, but cannot be served. The URL cannot appear on Bing. Uh, it is an old site and, and pages uh, already indexed before, but today uh, no page uh, is uh, visible on Bing search. Um, yeah. What, what's happening? What's going on here, guys? Anybody? Don't fight over it. Yeah. I mean, I'd have to probably look into more details of the actual site in question and review. Um, I don't know offhand. Okay. Yeah, he, he got an email saying that the website was in a spam list. But um, does, does Bing respond like that? I, I've never said, heard of that. Anyway, all right, let's go to number three. I'm sorry we can't help there, Mr. Awet. Uh, funny tie-dyes. Um, um, and he asked, did he ask this question last week, guys? Do you recall doing this one already? Oh, yes, I remember too. Okay, Micah, we're losing you. Um, and thank you very much for your... Cheers, welcome. Micah. Cheers. Yeah. Um, I remember uh, asking, answering a question very, very similar to this, if not 100% the same. Yeah, no, definitely we did last week, yeah. Definitely, we did. And I don't think I've All changed right. my face since last week. <laughs> <laughs> this one from Leanne White. Um, actually, since Tim won his um, award um, as, as the best local search consultancy uh, in Middle England, I've noticed we've had a lot more ladies come to uh, our uh, um, Facebook group. <laughs> Anyway, I, I think it's just pure, pure coincidence. Could possibly Maybe they're just here for the freak show. <laughs> <laughs> We're like one of those old um, uh, circuses where they used to have the the, 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 the the freak show where they could come and gape at the, come and gawk at the freaks. Only the problem is we're not charging for it. Hmm. <laughs> The two-headed local SEO, that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm lost for words. Okay, um, Leanne White um, wants to know, is this something I should be worried about? She said, I had someone contact me saying she's a content writer who tried to become a full-time freelance writer and wants to get a portfolio together and so was offering to write some articles for my blog on my website for free uh, so she can build a good portfolio of some real work so i said yes so she and she sent me the article it was only five to some other websites which i thought was a bit odd um i i know it is uh, to it is good to have links to other websites, but I thought maybe she's being paid by these other websites and this was a sneaky way to get me to link to them. And it also came with some photos which she said were Creative Commons images, so no need, no need to worry about copyright. Obviously, anything for free makes me weary, so I am not sure if this is something I should be worried about. Well, um... It sounds, I, I personally, I, I would be suspicious, 
um, but then I'm suspicious anyway. Um, most uh, most people who uh, contact me out of the blue um, are trying to do something suspicious. Um, however, let's let's give your content writer um, the benefit of the doubt. Um, what you should do is to have a look at that for a 540 word article. It's not. It doesn't matter that it was only 540 words. The, the, the issue is how good are those words? Are they spammy? Are they rubbish? Uh, do they actually have any quality about the topic? Is the topic anything to do with your website? Or is this something spun from some piece of software somewhere? Um, so have a look at it. Is it any good? If it's any good, then you've got a then you've got a reason to think that you might want to put it on your web, website. If it's rubbish, then don't put it on your website. Um, then have a look at the websites that, that the that the links are to. What kind of links are and what what kind of um, websites are they? Are they relevant to the topic of the uh, of the article? Are they rubbish websites? Does it look as if the writer is trying to do something underhand um if uh if she is if she does look as if she's doing something underhand then he, then she probably is doing something underhand there's ducks and quacks and things apply here um so i think that um oh yeah and also um are they actually creative uh, common images are well really are they the, the do they have the correct kind of creative common license for the usage that they are being used for um you know copyright is different from creative common common creative commons um strictly um so oh i this this sounds like a a chance to get mired in a lot of rubbish um and um personally i wouldn't have got involved in the first place but um go through the go through the uh, go through the sequence of questions is the article any good is it the sort of thing you'd be happy to put on your website if it isn't don't put it on your website um don't do it because you think that uh, that this person requires a bit of a leg up for their freelance writing um, career, it's your website. It's your uh, it, it's your life that it's uh, that it, that it's propping up. That it's uh, it's your it's your it's your income. Uh, so don't mess about with with other people's strange underhand ideas uh, or low quality um low quality writing um if if the quality is good then look at the links what what what's the story those links tell you um if you think that maybe she is being paid by these other websites don't publish your don't publish the article um it's 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 your livelihood it's your website it's up to you what you put on it um and i would say without seeing the article that you're pointing to um pointing to it being not the sort of thing you want on your website but i haven't seen it and i can't tell um but really be hyper suspicious of it i would say thank you david all right, that's um, uh, call that a wrap for Leanne White and um, click the button for number five on our run list. Um, Arsene Sohail um, asked the question titled, Please guide me um, about keyword density. Um, he said, If I have 1,000 words content on my page, so how, how many keywords should I saturate uh, in content according to SEO practice? Um, primary keyword, secondary keyword, long tail keyword. Um, and um, yeah, um, 
Richard Hearn said uh, 347. Oh, it goes in here. All mm -hmm. of this stuff goes in here. Mm -hmm. It's rubbish. It's old style-y. Um, it's something that I wish someone would go around the internet and delete all references to. <laughs> Please don't do it. Yes, I remember um, uh, in the days when, um, oh, I can't even think of the name of the search engine now, but it was before Google. Um, yeah. Anyway. Before Google? Yep, long before Google. Um, who am I thinking of? <laughs> Alta Vista. <laughs> Oh, thank you, thank you, Masataki. You know what's going on. I feel old now. <laughs> can 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 a new lip read, David? Um, can I lip read? Um, mm. No, no. Should I be able to lip read? No, it's just uh, Tim was uh, chatting there. I, mean, I just. Uh... I see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, he's talking dirty again. <laughs> anyway, let's um, uh, call call it a um, a wrap. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think the answer is that you know, forget about it. Forget about keyword density. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And <clears throat> I, I, I have a feeling that, that the, one of the reasons it, it does uh, still cling on is the fact that most SEO plugins for, for WordPress and such platforms have their own version of keyword density via um, traffic lights or yeses and noes and basically that's that's the same sort of uh, the same sort of calculation that they're doing and uh, um, it, it's a kind of validation of of bad practice yeah mm -hmm. and I think, I think the problem is that it gives you a neat figure and I think that's the issue um, many people would say okay I'm producing XYZ and I'm it's easier to say I'm producing X words with keyword density of Y, and therefore it should have a Z score according to this tool or whatever. And so I think many people do still think in that kind of mechanistic terms, as it were, or simple numbers. And yeah, I think it's important to get away from that and say, okay, does this piece of writing make sense? Does it really communicate what you want to communicate? Forget the numbers. Yep. Okay. Well, look, yeah, guys, it, it's that time again. We've, we've um, covered the, all of the questions asked on the uh, Dumb SEO Questions uh, Facebook group. Before we go, though, I should uh, thank people like um, uh, Brenda M Malone and um, uh, Michael Stricker, Michael Martinez, um, all those good folk who spend time through the week uh, answering uh, uh, questions. Uh, people like um, Richard Hearn. Richard Hearn's answering a lot uh, through the week. We wish he was on our recording as well. Or at least, uh, if we can't have both, we'll just have him on our recording. Um, all right, let's um, wrap this up. Um, we'll be back at the same time uh, uh, next week uh, to do this uh, all again. But um, and, until then, uh, we'll be gone. <laughs>